Welcome to the day after Thanksgiving. Boy, is it slow. I have been out and about this morning and uh, there is nothing. I even have both my passenger and my delivery options turned on. Yep, I decided I'm going to go back into driving passengers for the time being anyway. And uh, it just is not looking good this morning. Look at this. I cut myself shaving today. Now it looks like I have a lipstick smear. I'm being the joker or something. So anyway, I don't know what to expect on this day after Thanksgiving. Uh, people may be sleeping in. People aren't working. Possibly they have the day off, so people aren't driving to work. They have all that leftover food from Thanksgiving, so they may not be ordering Uber Eats deliveries. So I really don't know what to expect. In the old days, people might be going out and shopping on Black Friday, but I don't even know if they're doing that anymore. Might be a good day for Amazon delivery, which I don't do yet. Maybe I'll try that. That might be an interesting experiment to do the Amazon deliveries. But uh, other than that, I don't know what to expect today. All I can say is so far, it has been dead as a doornail. I don't know why that expression came to be. How dead exactly is a doornail? I don't even know what a doornail is. What is a doornail? You know, every, every door I've seen is framed with regular nails and the hinges are screwed in place. So I don't know what a doornail is. So uh, Uber News is a little slow as well. Something kind of interesting. The driver in that viral video you saw it on my channel, um, I don't know if it was earlier this week or late last week, but um, the guy that was using all the profanity and all the racial slurs, you remember that one? David Kangogo was the name of the driver, and he tested positive for COVID. Isn't that interesting? Because from what I understand, the reason that that whole conflict started is the passenger didn't want to mask up. Now, I don't know if this driver, David K, got his uh, COVID from contact with that individual or not. That we don't know. We'll never know. I don't know if he got it even driving for Uber. That we don't know. And there's probably no way to find out. But I just think it's an interesting side note. That it's, it's, it's irony, isn't it? Or coincidence, however you want to look at it, that a conflict that began with refusal to wear masks kind of has a, a follow-up story with the driver contracting COVID. So quite interesting. Uh, another interesting story I saw that came across the news, Fullerton, Maryland. I haven't looked it up to see where Fullerton is. I suspect it must be a populated area. I don't think that it's, it, it is too rural. I, the only reason I think that is because I associate crime with highly populated areas and in most cases with urban areas. But we'll see. I could be wrong. I just haven't looked it up. What happened in Fullerton, Maryland? Someone's car was carjacked. And that in itself is not the interesting aspect of this. The interesting aspect is the carjacking took place at 12.15 p.m. That means around noon, unless the story has it wrong, and it's 12.15 a.m. What an unusual time in order for a carjacking to take place. And, and it's kind of frightening because... You know, you always talk about I'm trying to do things the safest possible way. I've got my camera. I've got my, I'm driving during safe hours. You know, everything that's going on. This driver was assaulted and it said control of the vehicle was taken from the driver during the ride. I don't know how that happens. I have no idea. I, you know, I'm picturing an Indiana Jones-like scene where the guy kicks him out of the car and moves over to the driver's seat and, and takes over control of the vehicle. It's just hard for me to imagine how that even occurred. I hope that we hear more about this because a driver losing control and getting carjacked at high noon, 
That's a scary proposition. But it's a holiday, the day after a holiday, so it's going to be slow for news. It's going to be apparently slow for Uber. I'm going to see what Eats has in store for us today. And maybe you'll hear more of that either tomorrow or during my Sunday live stream. But certainly my uh, my expectations are not high for today. And the other thing, I think I might look into Amazon delivery. There's something that's just intriguing about that to me. So maybe today, if there's nothing else going on, I'll look into that. So thanks for joining me, everybody. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please click my face to subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell icon way up above. That way you'll know when I post new videos. I'm Mark, and this is Mark's Travel Time.